We're gonna talk about this portable bandsaw that's a lifesaver if you cut a lot of EMT conduit. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave. If you're new here, we like using ordinary materials in creative ways so you can finish your project. We share tips and tricks, build inspiration, how to. So if you like that, definitely consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. Today we're talking about the Milwaukee Ultra Compact Portable Bandsaw. Uh, it is a fantastic tool. And if you want my quick review, I think you should get it if you have to cut a lot of EMT conduit. We do that all the time. We're doing builds with EMT conduit daily and it really cuts down on the amount of work time and makes it a lot easier. I am in no way affiliated with Milwaukee. Uh, bought it with my own money, so my opinions are definitely my own. One of my go-to tools for cutting conduit has been this ordinary tube cutter. It's hard to beat it for 15 bucks. Sure, it takes a lot to, you know, to rotate it around the pipe, and if you're doing a lot, it can be laborious. Uh, but it does a great job cutting. The cuts are even, uh, it's easy and ultra portable. So uh, I think that's a great way to start, but as an upgrade, if you do a lot of cutting, um, this is definitely something to consider. The main reason why it's so awesome is because of its size. It's lightweight, it's easily maneuverable to different positions, and I think Milwaukee created it so you could cut overhead for tradespeople. Uh, if they have to cut conduit or thread a rod or something like that overhead, it's easy to do that. Uh, so it's a great little tool. It only weighs six pounds, 11, 12 ounces with the battery already in it. If you take the battery out, you're talking five pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, so it's really light. You can, you can, easily maneuver it, and it's only about 12 inches in length too. So you compare this to the bigger, um, instead of an M12 model, the M18 model from Milwaukee, and you're talking about 7.7 .7 pounds without the battery, so it's a lot lighter than that, and I think that's really one of its, its strengths. It's a subcompact, so the question is, how does it cut? That's the reason why we got this thing, is how does it cut? So. They say that it only takes three seconds to go through EMT conduit. I found it to be definitely fast. And because it's lightweight, I mean, I can, whatever position that I'm cutting in, it's easy to do. Like here's um, a typical way I'd cut conduit, just, you know, on a table. The thing is you've got to really line it up to cut straight. That's one of the things you got to watch out for. Little bit of twist at the end uh, prevents it from binding, but it uh, it ends up being a good cut. You get a little bit of burrs in there, uh, nothing too major. And then the real trick is getting a straight cut. With the tube cutter, just as a comparison, when you lock it on, you know, you're gonna get an even cut all the way around. But with the portable bandsaw, you've really gotta work to get that angle just right so you cut through. But with a little practice, it's definitely an acceptable cut. Is it perfect? No, but chances are that end is gonna be hidden inside of a connector anyway, so how much does that really matter? Uh, I think another consideration in cutting this way is the dust it leaves behind. You can see the, the little metal shavings. So if you're on a carpet or something like that, uh, you definitely want to watch out for that and understand that it's going to leave a little bit of metal shaving. But in a lot of situations, it really doesn't matter. Just sweep up afterwards. Uh, I think that's one of the big differences with the uh, versus cutting with the tube cutter. Oh, the one thing I wanted to mention is sometimes, like if you're cutting here and you, you know, put some pressure down on before you start the cut, it can have a little bit of trouble torquing. Although it did pretty good there, but you can. It, it's, you know, um, sometimes it, it kind of pauses, but um, that has no problem. Maybe it's a low battery, I don't know, but it seems to when it happens, I just stop the saw, restart it, and it cuts right through. So something to think about. 
But overall, I am really happy with the tool. We've been using it for six months. We used it on a ton of builds and it is a total time saver. It makes life a lot easier. I find myself reaching for this a lot more than reaching for that. But, you know, you got to spend $200 on this. That's the, the price you can get it on Amazon and 200 bucks gets you a three amp hour battery, the tool itself, a blade in the tool, and then a carrying case and a charger. So if you've got the 200 bucks and you're going to be spending a lot of time cutting EMT conduit, you know, it's definitely worth it. Uh, but as you kind of compare it against our benchmark, just the tube cutter for 15, if you're gonna do, you know, occasional projects, this might be the way to stick with. This is 200, but you can also buy just the tool itself. I think that goes from, for about 160, 170. Uh, so if you've already bought into the uh, Milwaukee M12 battery system, you know, you can just pick up this for a little bit less. So overall, the construction of the tool is plastic, uh, like most tools today, but it is a high quality kind of fiber reinforced plastic. You've got some of the parts that are metal of this guard, this plate, the housing for the actual motor looks to be metal, um, but it has a really good feel. I, I like the construction. One of my favorite parts about it is the grip and the ergonomics of it. It feels good in hand and it really is a good hold on the tool overall, pretty substantial. Um, one of the things I'm not crazy about is this LED indicator. You can see that full charge is for red LEDs. It would have been great if some of those were green. I don't know, it's just green means good to me. So when I look at it quickly and see all red, I think my battery's dead, uh, but not a big deal once you get, get used to it. So the battery fits really well. I like the battery compartment too. You pinch to remove and then uh, it's a good positive fit inside the housing and it stays out of, way, out of the way, tucked right by the motor here. We took this up to Saunders Machine Works when we did a big project and uh, we were cutting off and on for eight hours. Uh, they say it's rated to 150 cuts. Uh, battery life and then it recharges pretty quickly in about an hour you've got a fresh pack so definitely good battery life battery life so after using this a bit you're gonna dull your blade I think changing the blade needs to be really easy and Milwaukee did that you don't have to think about it you just get the three pack of blades made for this Milwaukee tool and it's just thirty dollars so you know you have the right ones and then changing it is incredibly easy all you have to do is move these tabs, that opens this back guard, and then this releases the tension on the blade. So you just move that lever over. You can see now you've got some tension released on your blade, and you can flip that, and then replacing it is exactly the same. Get it in between the bearings there, around both of the wheels pretty centered uh, and then apply tension with that lever it moves the wheel over close it put that there and you're ready to go again it's ready to go so change of blades super easy doesn't cost very much and you can keep this thing sharp with a, without a lot of thought I'm really happy I bought this tool I think there's a lot of pros to what this brings to the table I mean, first off, the ergonomics and the lightweight mobility of it is definitely a pro. Um, I really like, I didn't mention this, but it's got a nice LED so you can see what you're cutting. That was a, a nice ad. Um, the battery lasts a good long time. I was happy with that. It recharges quickly. So that's definitely a pro. Um, changing the blade is super easy. You don't have to think about that. That's great. I love that they did that. And then uh, I hear it's got a five-year warranty, which seems really good. Some of the things that I'm not crazy about that I put on the cons list have more to do with the cutting process of a bandsaw than anything else. So it leaves the dust behind. All bandsaws are gonna do that. It's tough getting the cut just right, straight. Um, all portable bandsaws, handheld, are gonna do that. So the cons really are more with this type than anything else. I think it's a good tool. Um, the other thing is the price. It's $200, so it's not an inexpensive tool, but if you're cutting a lot of conduit or something similar, 
uh, out in the field, it really does speed up the job. If I was gonna replace it, if I was in the shop and going to replace it, I would probably get a bench mounted uh, bandsaw on an arm. That would probably get a lot cleaner cuts and be a lot easier to use. But because we're all over the place doing builds out in the field, um, this is definitely the tool. So I'm happy with the purchase. I hope that helps your buying decision, uh, whether you're gonna get it or pass on it, uh, but it's been a great tool for us. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.